What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here, and I just went to go see a movie. I saw Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. It starred Henry Golding, Andrew Koji, Haruka Abe, Takahiro Hira, and Peter Mensa. And it also did star Samara Weaving, but she was in the film for about maybe seven to eight minutes. But her main character was um, Scarlet, who's one of the G.I. Joes. So she wasn't really in it for that long. And the director was Robert Schwenke. So this movie's basically about a G.I. Joe spinoff centered around the character of Snake Eyes. All right, everyone. So I saw this film and I give it a, eh, it was okay. Um, it wasn't spectacular. It wasn't that great. I mean, Henry Golding, I think he did a good job as Snake Eyes. Um, but everybody else, I mean, I guess they, they did what they could with what they had with the actors. Um, the acting was, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't too special. The storyline was kind of weak. I mean, it does tell the story of how this guy, how he becomes Snake Eyes, the training he has to go through, and what he learns in life and all that other stuff. I mean, like I said, the storyline was kind of weak. At times it was kind of boring. I was sitting there looking at my watch. And there was a few things I did like about the movie was, of course, the martial arts of it, the ninja aspect of it, um, the action scenes. They were pretty cool because uh, I do like martial art films, you know, like Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. But other than that, I mean, and there was one line in the film near the kind of mid to the end where, I mean, no, there's really no spoilers. So I'm going to say it where they're all lined up together and he comes out and he meets Scarlet. And he goes to her, Yo, Joe, which is a famous quote from the G.I. Joe characters. Also, there's a lot of shaky cam in this movie. So it'll kind of give you a headache. Um, and also, there were a lot of, like, close-up scenes of the actors' faces, which I don't understand why. Maybe it was to get their ex facial expressions, but there was really no need for almost every actor in this film to have a close-up scene of their face other than that that's about it so do i recommend to see this film if you like henry golding if you like snake eyes and the gi joe universe and all that yeah i recommend to see this film but if you're just a person that's just going to go see it i would probably skip out on this or wait till it comes out on Netflix, Hulu, Demand, Amazon Prime, whatever else is out there. Don't waste your money in a movie theater to see this. And now it's time for fun facts. Snake Eyes is changed from a Caucasian character seen from the comics, animated series, and both of the live action films. And finally, Ray Park, who played Snake Eyes in the two previous G.I. Joe films, would not be reprising his role in this film. And that's it, everyone. Uh, that is my movie review for Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origin. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share. Hit that notification bell and notify you when the next video or vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes!